Hey, everybody, God bless you. Hey, have you been checking your fruit? Do you know what people, are you known by the fruits that you bear? You will be. You are, in most cases. What fruit we talked about? Fruit found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now, the fruit of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Are you known by those fruit? You know, he said in the commandment that Christ gave in John 13, 34, a new commandment I give unto you that you love one another. As I have loved you, you also love one another. And he said in verse 35, he said, This is how the world will know that you are my disciples, by the love that you have to one another. But what are we known by? What fruits are we known by? You know, the atrocities of the past, the, the supremacy, whether you want to be a black supremacist or a white supremacist, and because you, 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 you've been told that if you be that way, then that's what the world lacks. And you get recognition from the world, from, from your fellow man of being superior and being able to put somebody else down. And that's the same doggone lie that the enemy put to Adam and Eve in the garden. It's a lie. But you got to watch out and bear fruits of the Spirit. Look at this. In, in Genesis, you know, when the devil came into the garden and, and told Eve, said, hey, is all these things you need to have? And she, she gave a reply. She said in verse 3, but the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, you shall not surely die, contradicting God. For God does know in the day that you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Doesn't that sound like supremacy? And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also to her husband with her and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were open. And they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made for themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of God walking in the, in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of God, that's what we do, among the trees in the garden. And the Lord called to Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard that voice in the garden. And I was afraid because I was naked and hid myself. In other words, going by man's way, now all of a sudden you don't have a relationship with God. You can be ugly. You can be supreme if you want to. But you want a relationship with God. Check your fruit. Amen? God bless you. It's a perfect thing to do. Bear good fruit.